Hello everyone and welcome to Two Bob's Adventures. Today we are here at the Rocky Comfort Road Trailhead and we are heading over to Giant City State Park. We've already hiked this, um, through this park once, but we decided to come back because we got lost here once before and we missed a bunch of stuff like there's an old like church basement or something we missed, like a chimney and some other stuff. So we're going to go check that out and try and find a camping spot for when we do our through hike. So, yeah, we'll see you on the trail. Okay guys, we're just a little bit onto the trail today. And uh, here's a little side trail goes down to this lake, pond, I don't know. We'll go down and see what it is. Uh, one thing we forgot to mention earlier, trying something a little different today. Uh, instead of bringing the video camera, I just brought my phone. So uh, this video is being shot on the Galaxy S7. So uh, let us know what you think about the quality. I mean, we'll be able to tell too, but I don't know how well it will do compared you know the video the Sony video camera we usually use but uh the reason I'm trying it for our through hike I'm thinking about just taking the phone just for the simple fact of saving weight but I don't know we'll see so that's a cool little area some cool trees and stuff out in the water all right kind of windy today uh supposed to get up in the 50s seems like we always say stuff like this but uh, I supposed to get up in the 50s. Right now it's 37. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, check that out. Where the beaver's been eating on the tree. Cool. And then also, I don't know how that's going to show up. Check out those spikes. Am I getting those on there, maybe? There's like spike things growing all over that tree. That is cool. Okay, yeah. There's kind of. Yeah, sort of. Pretty neat. All right. We're, uh, the first place we're really kind of looking for, it's supposed to be an old chimney of something on the side of the trail, and we somehow missed it last time. So, uh, we're definitely going to try to find that, and a few other interesting things along the way. Okay, as Bob mentioned, we're following the River to River Trail today. So we're walking down the River to River Trail, obviously. And, as you can see the blaze there, it goes that way. And we're looking for an old chimney that's supposed to be right here. And, instead of following the river to river, I thought it was right on the river to river. But, uh, I just happened to look back through the woods, because I knew we had to be getting close. So, instead of turning to go down the river to river, there's this little trail that kept going straight. So, I kind of checked out down here to see if maybe it was back here. And, luckily, the leaves are all off today. And, we could see it back here. So, I don't know what this was. I... Just, just kind of an old rock foundation through here. Pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> there's an old chimney. It's pretty neat. All kinds of pipes and stuff sticking out of it. And there's not supposed to be any camping in this area or fires. So, uh, of course, there is. And, uh... A little bit of litter, not as much as I really thought there might have been. It's pretty cool though. Yeah. And that lake that we looked at earlier, pond whatever's right back over there, so I guess this is still part of crab orchard best I know. So alright. Thought we'd show that to you. And uh, so we found one thing we wanted to find today. There's also supposed to be the touch of nature wigwam out here. So uh oh wait. Some good shots of trash, of course. Uh, so we are going to try to find that, too. Uh, but we found the first thing we want. And as long as we find our way to Giant City <laughs> to get picked up, that'll be a great deal. Okay, guys, we're still on the river to river, obviously, heading towards Giant City. But we think we have found what is labeled on our map as the Old Church Basement. The daffodils <laughs> were uh, drew our attention over here, so uh, we're gonna check it out. We missed this the last time we came through here too. So it is uh, what is today like March tenth or something. Yeah. You can go swimming. 
so yeah, it's uh, I don't know, pretty cool little area though. Yeah. Some neat stuff. Nothing here tells what anything is. I mean, no plaques or you know, signage or anything like that. Just. cool so uh, we saw that so at least we found the second thing we wanted to find uh, like I said we want to that's pretty stupid so uh, wanted to try to find this touch of nature wigwam so that'll be the next thing we're looking for uh, the trail so far today really well marked so much nicer when the leaves and stuff aren't on we can see a lot better what's going on where we're going uh, but it's been really muddy. It's really, really muddy. We've had a lot of rain the last few weeks. So, uh, just been kind of nasty walking some, but no big deal. I don't know what these leaves are. I'll show, show these to you guys. These are so cool. I don't know what they are, but man, they're cool looking. I just like them. So, on to the wigwam, hopefully. All right, guys, walking down the trail, heading back to the wigwam, we think. The Touch of Nature wigwam is what it was listed on the map, it's supposed to be down this way. So, uh, we're going to see. We missed this the first time, too. This is just off of the river to river. This is a little spur trail. Uh, oh, yeah. See it through the woods now over there. So, we're going to check this out, see what's what it is, what's down here. One thing we noticed after looking at the map again... We were there at the old church basement that we showed you there a while ago. It was also marked as a cemetery. We didn't see the cemetery part, so... I don't know. Didn't find it. Didn't see any tombstones that were prominent or anything. We didn't really look around a lot. We should have taken more time, I guess, to look for that. So, something else to do if we're through here again. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, as of right now, here is the Touch of Nature Wigwam. I really don't know what it was even for. Something with Southern Illinois University, I think. Uh, I looked it up one time, but I don't even remember now. So, uh, I guess we're going to check it out. A little entrance. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Big fire pit right in the middle. So, uh, this may be, uh, somewhere we could camp yeah. on our through hike. A lot of water over there around the edges. I wouldn't want to camp. It's kind of damp in here, but by that time of year, it might not be. And there's a good flat spot like right here yeah. or even over there. So, yeah, this might be, this might do it for us. So, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's like a smoke hole yeah. right above the fire pit here. So that's cool. We don't usually start fires at camp anyway, especially on a through hike. I'm too tired. <laughs> Just want to get to bed. But. Yeah. It smells cool in here too. I like the smell. Yeah, I like the smell. It's like you see the wood smell. It's not like a moldy smell or anything. And the trail, there's another that trail we followed in, Spur Trail, keeps going that way. I have no idea where it goes. Uh, maybe sometime that's something else we can check out. But not today. So yeah, cool. All right, we are just about the spot where we got lost last time. Got, as we'll say, turned around. <laughs> On my Gaia app, the old trail turns back there to the left. And we were on this main trail, and we knew, well, this is the main trail. But according to my map, it wasn't the right trail. After doing more research, after we got home and everything, we realized, yeah, we should have just kept following this trail. And we were going to do it that day. But we were running close on time and we needed to be getting going. And uh, in fact, I think here, yeah, here's that sign we saw that day. Yeah. <laughs> and it showed, actually, it shows, actually, somebody's marked that now, I think. I don't think it was marked like that, do you? No. Not as good or something. But anyway, the old trail cuts up through the woods up in here and goes across. And that's what threw us off. And we kept trying to go left because that's what the old trail did. And uh, <laughs> the new part of it doesn't do that anymore. 
So it just, boy, it really had us confused. It was after the end of a long day. And probably just weren't thinking quite as clearly as we should have been either. So, today, we're going to keep on the very obvious main trail. <laughs> and uh, I think it'll be the right thing to do. So, uh, let's see. I think up here maybe is where that old one cut through. We may already pass it. I'm not sure. There was a sign off in the woods, and that's what made us think so, too. That, yeah, I don't see it today. But anyway, we'll see if we get there today. Okay, guys, we're just where we were talking about where we got lost last time. And as we came up here, there's uh, some newer blazes. That would have been nice when we came through. But then there's also this, and I don't know if we missed it. I can't, don't see how we could have. Maybe we didn't come quite far enough. It says old trail closed, <laughs> new trail open. And because uh, we came this far, I looked at my old map, my old route, and uh, yeah, I don't know. We we came this far, and I find it hard to believe we wouldn't have seen that. <laughs> don't you? Yeah. And like Bob said, we remember this old road going that way. So we said, well, that's probably the old trail. And we talked about it. So I don't think that sign was there, which is kind of weird, though. It looks really weathered, so... I don't know. But anyway, we're definitely doing what we should have done. Oh, check it out. There's a hat up there on that tree. Uh -huh. I don't know if that'll... Could just walk yeah, up to it. Somebody's hat's hanging there. That's weird. So, yeah. You just keep following the trail. It's a very obvious trail. And we knew it that day, too. It just didn't seem right for the what the map I was using. So, we're going to head on. Okay, we are still on the new part of the trail, and we're on the right trail. We came across these signs. This says wilderness area, foot traffic only, no camping or fires. Bob found some other sign that was laying down. What's it say? This national wildlife boundary. Okay, and here's our blaze for the river to river. Anyway, we are back. I looked at our map. This is about where we went last time. <laughs> we just made a circle on the new trail. Instead of going cross country, and we've hooked back up right about where... We messed up last time. So, that's good to know. Um, right in this area, most of the trail's been really flat and kind of just pretty boring. But once we got past the part, really where we got lost, wasn't it? Yeah. After that, we started getting into some more rocks. And there's been some cool bluffage along the trail. And just a little more to see. And it's getting steep. I mean, it's really dropping off here. So, uh, yeah, just a little cooler area getting closer to the giant city. Uh, like I said, I don't know how far we're in to the trail. Um... Here, Bob, here, pull my, pull my sleeve up so I can see my Garmin. What's it say? About three miles. So we're about three miles into the trail. I think it's only maybe a four-mile trail or something to Giant City, which we messed around, though, too. Yeah. Going to the wigwam and stuff off trail. But, uh, so, yeah, we are still on the trail. Didn't get lost this time. All right, we are coming up and to the road. I don't know what road actually it is. Antioch, maybe, because this is Antioch Cemetery coming up here. Uh, blazes are a lot better here, too, than last time. Although we didn't get lost here. We, we did okay here last time. But uh, definite better, better blaze than when we were here. So, yeah, there's the cemetery. Pretty cool. And now we've got a little bit of road walking to get back into Giant City, actually. Um, we were just talking the trail. We remember going, once we get off Antioch here, going into Giant City. It's a total crap trail, so we've got that to look forward to. But we'll see how the blazes are on it this time. But we've got, I don't know, a quarter mile or so. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. i uh, just walking on this gravel road. Okay, guys, we've walked down Antioch Road here, and this is where the river to river picks back up into the woods on a trail. But, the strange thing, Illinois has what they call the purple paint law. You can mark your private property with purple paint, and it's the same as a no trespassing sign. I told Bob these look new. We've been seeing a lot of them along the road here. <laughs> and this is obviously the trail I know from last time, and we got the big blaze right there on the tree. That also has purple paint on it, so that's odd. I don't know what's going on with that. We're still going to take the trail, but uh, 
This is where I told the trail going in. We are talking earlier, you know, isn't very good. Uh, not real well marked. It's just kind of this old creek bed. And it was, especially like during the summer, it was really grown up and hard to walk on. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't get the deal with the blaze and the purple paint. And it looks on the tree here like there was an older blaze that's been torn down. I don't know if they did that when they put up the new one or somebody did that with the purple paint. Because that purple paint looks really fresh. We've noticed it all along the road. But anyway, it's the only way to get there. And this is the trail, so we're going. Okay, guys. We uh, just turned onto the trail in the Giant City Park here. And as we were walking, Bob and I both noticed on the ground, it looked like pieces of an old blaze. And sure enough, this tree right here just has a little bitty piece still hanging on it. So, kind of stupid. I don't know if somebody did that intentionally. About half to, I would think. But, uh... Luckily, there's this sign up here. But if you're coming from Giant City, that's just something to be aware of. The sign up here that says, Horse and River to River Trails are closed November 1st to May 1st. And it's got somebody drew with a marker. The eye and the diamond pointing the way to go. And if you look down there, it's kind of... I don't know if you can see it on here or not. But anyway, there is a blaze down there on a tree. But during the summer, you're probably not going to see that. So anyway, just something to be aware of. Uh, we're getting really close now to the campground, so uh, we're just heading down the trail into the to go to the campground to get picked up. Okay, guys, we finally made it back to Giant City State Park. As you can see, we're at the Red Cedar Trail, um, oh, trailhead. But see, so yeah, it was a pretty easy hike. The the last part, um, or it kind of got a little better, but. Overall, it's an okay hike. What do you think? Yeah, like I said, our main deal today was a little kind of a recon mission just yeah. to see what we messed up last time and find a good uh, camping spot, which we did. And we've got a couple options, so that worked out well preparing for our through hike. So, yeah, I thought it was great. Me too. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. First of all, comment down below if, we, if you think we should use our phone or video camera, like which like audio and just like video quality is better. And we'll see you on the trail. Your next hike.